Assalamu alaikum. I am Da Maghzumi and I am here to show you how the Holy Quran can improve your life. Allah says in this verse, if he has sent down the Quran upon a mountain, you would have seen it humbled and coming apart from the fear of Allah. And these examples we set to present to the people, perhaps they will give thought. Do you know the benefits of the holy month of Ramadan? Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed so that what better time we have to reconnect with ourselves with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through it. It was sent to mankind as a complete guide to guide us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indeed has blessed us with this holy Quran from guidance from the dark into the light for us to recite it and to learn from it. Now what are the benefits of this holy month of Ramadan? Well, let's talk about how the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, he has this khutbah, a speech, specifically for the holy month of Ramadan. And every year I'm used to hearing it from my father. And this year I decided to share it with you. Because when you read the speech, the khutbah that Rasulullah has given to the people before the holy month of Ramadan to remind us of how much it has benefits and how it has blessings, it makes you wait for this month and it makes you understand how special and how great of a blessing this whole holy month is. So refer to your Mafatih Jinan. It's in every Mafatih Jinan. It's available in the sections of the month of Ramadan. So in the beginning, when you go to the section of the month of Ramadan, the first page, it's in small writing, but it dis it's the khutbah of Rasulullah of the month of Ramadan. Now, I'll just give you six quick benefits that Rasulullah has said in his speech. He says that Ramadan, and fasikum fihi tasbih, your breath is tasbih. وَنَوْمُكُمْ فِيهِ عِبَادَةً Your sleep is a worship. وَعَمَلَكُمْ فِيهِ مَقْبُولٌ Your deeds are all accepted. وَدُعَاءَكُمْ فِيهِ مُسْتَجَابٌ Your supplications will always be answered. Then he says, أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ O oh you people, إِنَّ أَنفُسُكُمْ مَرْهُونَ بِأَعْمَالِكُمْ Meaning yourself depends on the deeds you have done. فَفُكُّوهَا بِاسْتِخْفَارِكُمْ So erase all your bad deeds with your reciting astighfar. ظُهُورَكُمْ ثَقِيلَ مِنْ أَوْزَارِكُمْ Your backs are heavy. Why are they heavy? Because of the sins that we have. So what do we do? Rasulullah says, خَفُّفُوا عَنْهَا بِطُولِ سُجُودِكُمْ When you're in the posture of doing sujood, imagine those sins fall out. So when you pray, Rasulullah says, فَخَفَّفُوا عَنْهَا بِطُولِ سُجُودِكُمْ So remove those sins with your long sujood. Allah has put so much emphasis and importance for the, month of Ramad for the month of Ramadan because it is the holy month and we are guests to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet continues in his speech and he says, أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ إِنَّهُ قَدْ أَقْبَلَ إِلَيْكُمْ شَهْرُ اللَّهِ بِالْبَرَكَ وَالرَّحْمَةِ وَالْمَغْفَرَةِ the month of Ramadan has come to you and is giving you mercy and forgiveness. Shahrun huwa anda Allahi afdal shuhur. It is one of the greatest months. Wa ayyamihi afdal al ayyam. And the days are the greatest days. Wa layalihi afdal al layali. And its nights are the greatest nights. Wa saatihi afdal al saat. And the hours of the month of Ramadan are the greatest hours. Huwa shahrun. دُعِيتُمْ فِيهِ إِلَىٰ ضِيَافَةِ اللَّهِ It is a month that we are called upon to be the guests of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What better benefits can we have other than that? تَقَبَّلَ اللَّهُ أَعْمَالَكُمْ وَرَمَضَانُ مُبَارَكُ <تصفيق>